away to a place called Alderwood. That's in a new forest near Lindhurst in Hampshire. Looking a bit more icy here. Temperature's two degrees now. I'm going to, I have been to before a couple of times to shoot. It was one of the first places I went to do a um, dawn shoot at, in fact, when I got my first Nikon DSLR D300. There's a bit of a classic lone tree shot to be taken. Sunrise is about five past eight. The gauze around this car park grown up a lot since I first came here must be nine years ago now so I think the shot that I did then is probably not going to be possible now anyway we have arrived time to get out see what I can make of it So I'm sure there's a shot to be had here somewhere, but I am struggling at the moment to find the angle I want. And I've set up down here with quite a wide lens, but I'm starting to think I need to be further back and with a longer lens on. And so I have taken a shot down here from this angle, but I think what I'm going to do so I'm going to move back and I'm going to stick a longer lens on. I'm going to stick my 70 to 200 on and get as far back as I need to to frame it with that. If you can hear lots of traffic noise, it's because the, uh, there's a dual carriageway over there. Over to my right here, there's a bit of colour starting to come into the sky because it's so cloud over there. So I'm going to change position and see whether or not it's possible for me to that bit of sky in the background somewhere there has to be a shot here I have to go further back okay I think we could do worse than that I'm just going to take another view down this lane that is a beautiful lane maybe that's actually the shot I'm just going to go back to the car park entrance, see if I can get a shot down the lane. Right, and that doesn't look too shabby a shot. I think I'm going to take that. Let's play that back. So I'm quite happy with that as a composition. We've got some nice light striking the tree now, and, uh, which we didn't have before. If we did, I didn't notice it. I love the way this lane is stretching off into the distance. I'm still on my wide angle lens issue. But I think that's rather a nice, rather a nice shot. sit in the car for a minute and let my feet warm up and behind me um, another photographer has just arrived and set up with tripod and stuff it's a beautiful place to be on a day like this and uh, I'm just loving it I've got a day off today and what a bad it what oh excuse me that's my um, reversing that I'll just turn the engine off for a minute <coughs> 
what better way to to spend your day off than coming out in the new forest um, on a, just such a glorious sunny day it's cold it is cold but it's lovely and fresh and i've been locked up in the office for the last three days or so so uh, i'm a bit stir crazy so i really needed to to get out. So um, I'm going to wander off, I'm going to find myself some nice, uh, a nice place to shoot under the trees. So uh, I'll catch you guys later. This little bit of the video really is for my, uh, my long lost cousin out in Canada, Andy Carl. So hello Andy, I thought I'd come here because I thought you might like to see this. This is Canadian War Memorial in the new forest of Alderwood. So I confess that this is a really speculative little jaunt now in that I've not been to this part of the forest before so I don't have a particular shot in mind and I don't know what I'm going to see so I think really I'm going to think of this as a bit of a recce. The way the sun is catching the limbs of the tree, there's still just a little bit of frost on it. There's some nice beech leaves there, brown beech leaves, just catching a little bit of sunlight. And these roots with moss on the ground, also just sun just glancing off from there. And I'm going to see whether I can use this fallen tree as a bit of a a little bit of a lead in. Right, this is where the iPhone is really good for just trying out angles. And here I'm probably a bit too close, I'd like it to be coming more from the corner, so I might move to about this sort of position really. Well I've switched to a different angle now because um, I really couldn't get the separation from the background that I wanted on that uh, tree, but I found the sun striking some other beech leaves that I think will make quite a nice close-up. So just in front of the, the camera there, um, these are the these are the leaves that I'm trying to photograph. What have we got here? Um, 80th of a second, f2.8, and ISO 100, and uh, we're pretty much on 200 millimeter focal length. That's not too bad little close-up actually. Highlights. Yeah, that's looking alright. I might just try one or two different angles with that. I've just walked around the corner and um, can you see the way the sun is just catching the edge of this tree? Um, I've deliberately put myself in the shade of the tree and you've got these beautiful luminous green edges where the sun is catching the moss from behind and catching the mosses on the ground. 
as well. I think that is today's shot. I'm really loving that. So I've tried a couple of variations on this now with different um, f-stops and uh, different aperture and uh, shutter speeds. And uh, so I think I'm going to move on and just see if there are one or two other little surprises. But um, between the other tree at the car park at Boulderwood and uh, these little scenes here, um, actually I've probably done what I came out to do today. I don't often shoot in the trees, almost never. And, uh, I was inspired by Simon Baxter's video, so do excuse me Simon for, for that. But, um, that's what happens when you post videos on YouTube, you see you get inspiring people. So I'll put a little um, link to Simon's channel. So if I don't do any more, um, this is me signing off and saying thank you for watching today and putting up with more of my mumblings uh, if you've managed to get this far. Uh, if you've liked what you've seen, do like and subscribe and share and all those kinds of things. It's a really great encouragement. Thanks for watching and bye.